Alrighty, it's uh, still coronavirus uh, lockdown time. It's Easter. We're not allowed to go anywhere. Not allowed to have anyone around. Thought I'd use the time to see how quick I can get my slotted um, RCS 64 pace car to go. Let's move over to the computer screen where we've programmed the variable speed pace car. Got my Corona beers there. Let's have a look at the screen. The, uh, the white line is the speed of the car as it travels around the track. The red line, vertical lines, are the sectors I've added where I can uh, program in speed in, in each sector. Um, options of braking, lane changing, random lane changing, pit lane entry, etc. See, so I've got a default uh, throttle value and I've got a value until start. That's the speed of the car at the start of the track. Let's um, turn the test on and we can follow the yellow line as the car moves around the track. Here we go. There was the hairpin. Cars flying around the track. will be interesting to see how quick the first lap will be. 10.4 seconds. That is flat out on this track. Let's have a look at the car. As it races around the track. Through the hairpin. We'll pull back for a wider shot. And we'll come back to the screen. Circulating at an average of about ten and a half seconds. A lot of people actually ask me, um, have a lot, seem to have a lot of trouble uh, getting pace cars to work and ask me um, how do you go about it. Well, originally you just um, record your pace car. And the trick is these sectors where you add and delete sectors and you can... Uh, Move the speed up and down. Uh, you can see at the start of the race uh, here, we go flat out until we get to the hairpin. And the hairpin on that 1200 sector, you'll see uh, I've programmed into brake. So, and then at the 1250, these are milliseconds. So 50 milliseconds later, I've got the, pro the brake um, program to come off. So that's enough to stop the car. Um, and then go again, but at a much reduced speed, so it can negotiate that hairpin um, without uh, coming off all the time. Um, with these sectors, it's really good. Um, so if I go to sector uh, 2000 here, I can just go up and down, and I can move the speed in the whole sector. It makes it a lot easier to program these cars. The default throttle speed is really if a car crashes, um, and you allow the, the pace car to just go right through its cycle uh, at which pace point it will go around the track at, at 20 which is fairly slow but it'll get right around the track without a problem and as soon as it starts hits the start finish line it'll follow the programmed um, speed in, in the recording here um, the value at the start that's really that's the speed from the start line um, from where the car might start on the grid uh, until it actually hits the start finish line because the calibration of a pace car is all about that start finish line. Uh, every time it comes around the start finish it will then start and follow the recorded pace car, um, the pit lanes, uh, the brakes. I think um, I can see up here at 7700 I've programmed it if it uh, hits a lane change into the pit lane so it can um, stop in the pits uh, it'll do that every uh, 11 seconds and it'll stay stationary for 8 seconds. Um, so when, in a race, uh, that makes it for a competitive sort of race against the, um, the pace car. Anyway, that's just a quick snapshot on these uh, RCS64 program variable speed uh, pace cars. If there's any interest, um, I might do a longer video where we might start from scratch and do a, um, a, a demo right from the very start through to getting a pace car to uh, run a nice 30-lap uh, race. Hope you enjoy it.